TDS, what's up? Yeah, come on. Yeah. IOW Sports, Sports Network, Network, late night edition. Let's go. Come on. We about to raise the bar. Wild call bar. Everybody grab a seat. Cause you know we about to spark. Late night sports talk. Put one that no listen got. Man, you don't wanna start. Wild call bar. We about to raise the bar. Wild call bar. Everybody grab a seat. Cause you know we about to spark. Late night sports talk. Put one that no listen got. Man, you don't wanna start. Wild call bar. L Boogie with the hot flame, yeah. ass tray full of top names, yeah. little tree for your membrane, this the night hour time frame, I just snatched up a six pack, got my hands on a lid pack, whipping up a little batch of snacks, yeah man I think I'm all set, late night, can't sleep, go ahead and just tap in, better grab you a cold one, and we about to get some laughs in, wild card on the microphone, he'll hit you with a couple flurries, y'all need to just strap in for some entertainment sports commentary. Wild call bar, everybody grab a seat, cause you know we bout to spark Late night sports talk, go on that no listen got Man, you don't wanna start Wild call bar, we about to raise the bar Wild call bar, everybody grab a seat, cause you know we bout to spark Late night sports talk, go on that no listen got Man, you don't wanna start Wild call bar, hey and girls, people of all ages, welcome to the IOW Sports Late Night Owl Edition, hosted by Mr. Modelo himself, you already know the name by now, you know what I'm saying, Wild Call Mar. you already know the vibe, pull up, let's go. We about to raise the bar, Wild Call Mar. Yeah. 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 Cream. Dollar dollar bill, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Boy, I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. It's your boy. Welcome on the building. Yeah. We here. Episode 277 of IOW Sports Late Night Al Edition. You know the deal. Shout out to my player Pimp, my brother from another mother. I call him Silent Hill, or I call him Forty Water. It don't matter, but y'all call him Silent Hill. TDS. That's my player partner Pimp. You see him scroll on the bottom of the screen. He blazed the podcast with the greatest intro in the podcast game. We about to set the ball. Wow, Karma. That's my boy right there. Local hip hop artist out of Charlotte, seven hundred four Queen City. Shout out to my guy. 40 water. Hey, go show them some love on Hitchhikers on YouTube. And of course, show us some love. IW Sports. Hey, follow us. Share the word. Subscribe to everything we got going on. IW Sports Network is the address for our Facebook, Instagram, and most importantly, our YouTube channel where you can see all of our content. IOW Sports 1 on Twitter. And if you want to chop it up with the Wild Card Mar personally, hit me up. Twitter, KC Wild Carmar, you see it under my name, or Wild Carmar on Facebook and Instagram. Hey, I got great news. I got big news. Yeah, we're going to get to all the franchise tags and all that stuff. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. I got a new co star. He's going to debut tonight, but he's going to be on the Wild, uh, Wild Carmar uh, Late Night Owl edition. For this foreseeable future. I'll bring him in in a minute. But. We're going to start right here. We're going to start right here. 
because uh, I know we talked about John ja Morant the other night. And, you know, the investigations are going and all these other things. And, you know, here's my thing. It might get worse. Then it'll get better. It just might. Because now if the investigation goes on, they find out that Ja is traveling with a firearm. It's an automatic 50-game suspension. So, Ja got some explaining to do. Got some explaining to do. He's got some explaining to do. And he's going to mess up his money. Now, there's one thing about this guy that I don't agree with. Stephen A. Smith. There's a lot about that guy I don't agree with. I'll be transparent. I, I, I used to be a big fan of Stephen A. Smith. I really did. I loved it. I loved his mannerisms, his, you know, at the beginning of his rise at ESPN. And, and but now what this guy is, is is he's a, you know, let's be honest what uh Stephen A is. You know, he's an agenda pusher. He's the uh, Mickey Mouse agenda pusher. Say what you want. That's how I feel. That's how I feel about Stephen A. So I, I'm no longer subscribed to him. But I did see a clip from him today. Or I saw a, a transcript um, where he basically was uh, reaching out to uh, T. Morant, John Morant's dad, and saying, hey, you, as his father, got him here to this point of creating generational wealth. You raised him. You did that. So now you need to find a way to reel him back in, as in find a better way to have this uh, uh, better people around you, uh, better uh, choices, because it's, it's, it's a lot of heat around this man's name right now. All right? And it goes beyond just the picture of him daintily holding a 380. By the way, I don't care what nobody say. John, John Morant was holding that little 380 like a little sissy. Hey, look at me. I'm John Morant. Look at my gun. So I, that's how I know you've been playing fake gangster the way he was holding that gun. But it doesn't change the fact that this guy needs an intervention. Because, no, he may not have committed actual crimes. And he may not violate actual, you know, policies it's all possibilities it, you know I'll, I'll be i'll be fair in that in that take but when you got word coming out that a laser is getting pointed at security on on road games in boston i think that was one of the uh, uh places or phoenix i can't remember um, but it was reported that one of the security guys was like yo there's a laser point at me and i'm sure it was coming off the end of a gun then you got the uh, situation with the 17 year old beating him up and pulling the gun out on him. And now you got the uh, Instagram uh, uh, thing on, on early Saturday morning. So it's like, come on, enough is enough. Enough trying to play gangster. Enough trying to be the tough guy, which we know you ain't. His real name is Clarence. All right. It, it's enough. Enough is enough. Like, you got you to gotta grow up. And be serious about this situation at hand and be like, yo, bro, I got a lot to lose here. John Morant, you got a lot to lose. You don't want to throw all that money, endorsement money, and, and, and you get guaranteed money in the NBA. At least the, the megastars do. So you, you're a star. You going to throw all that away to be CB4? Chris Rock? Huh? That's what, that, that's what we going to do? Just, just let me know what we going to do. Because if that's the case, <laughs> hey Mel, I said this, bro. <laughs> he, he was holding that that gun like a pair of unknown panties. <laughs> that's how I knew he wasn't gangster, Mel. You don't hold the gun like. Yeah. With my little pistol. Nah, come on, bro. You gotta hold that gun like like you about to do something with it. He, hey, I knew he was showing it off. Right when I saw that, I was like, oh man, this dude, 
This dude, this dude capping. He playing. But guess what? And I'm going to say this for the last time, and, I, and I, this will be the last time I'm going to speak on Jock. Stop playing gangster because you live in Memphis, Tennessee, and there's some real gangsters out there. You don't believe me? Keep playing that big boy tough shit. There's going to be one of them Memphis, Tennesseans. They're going to come out there. They're going to check you. They're going to pull your card. They're going to really see how gangster you really are. And it's from boys out there in Memphis, Tennessee don't play. They took out Dolph. They took out young Dolph. Don't, don't think they won't take you out, John Morant. All right? Because it's been well known how much money you made off that contract. ESPN made sure to let us all know how much you made. Uh, give me a thumbs up in the back if you're ready, uh, my new co-host. Ladies and gentlemen, you see him here all the time. Convince him to get some equipment. Hey, he, he's going to be part of the ILW team, man. The one and only MJ. What's up, boy? <laughs> What's good? What's good? Good, man. Hey, man, we're going to have a good show. Uh, man, a pleasure to have my guy here. He's going to be uh... – <laughs> Mel Wallis, <laughs> who draws are these? You know I wear a side phone. <laughs> no, you said my voice. <laughs> Mel <But> Wallis. No. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, MJ, man, pleasure to have you here, my guy. Um, Appreciate you, know, you having me. Hey, real quick, just kind of give me your uh, 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 thought process on this John Morant situation, and then we're going to move on to what everybody came here to talk about because we got a lot of talk about some some franchise tagging, some contracts being agreed to in the NFL. How's it going to shape up the new season? We're going to get to that, but real quick, go ahead and give me your, your comments on, on the John Morant situation, big homie. Immature. The age. Yeah. Stupidity. The circle around them, mm. like you said, trying to uh, trying to play gangster when you're not you're not that you're not about that life. Mm-hmm. He's fucked. Yeah, you know, excuse my language. He's fucked. You, you know, you brought you brought the gun on the plane. Right there's a federal offense. Allegedly, we'll say allegedly because we we'll just wait till all the details come out for sure. Okay, um, he, he he allegedly brought the gun on the plane. Okay. Yeah. He allegedly crossed state lines, numerous state lines, allegedly brought it into the club in Denver, allegedly waved it kind of like this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, we can't allege that. We saw that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be holding that I, shit like some other. I, I heard head. it was kind of, you know, not, <laughs> no, not like really 60. Um, they talking about NBA might be suspended in 50 games. If that's the case, Memphis is yeah, uh, they're done this year. They're absolutely done. Um going forward, here's the issue. If the feds get involved, yeah, that's a, that's another he, problem. He, he, he might have a big, big problem. Hey man, I said it the other night. I don't care uh, whatever you do. You know, <laughs> whatever happens, no matter what you do in your life, there's a few things you don't want after you. And they got three letters and they come with federal power. F-B-I-C-I-A-D-E-A-A-T-F. Anything that has three letters and has federal backing, IRS, you don't want them on your ass. D-O-J. Yeah. <laughs> Because you, you don't want them boys on your ass. Anything that's a three-letter acronym that got some federal backing, they get on your ass, boy, you's in trouble. When you hear boom ATF and your door goes flying open with the battering ram, yeah. Done deal. Yeah. What's up, Mike? Oh, we got the real MJ. He said my brother don't know nothing about baseball. There, like he, there he is. He's, <laughs> I, I had him. I, I was thinking to him earlier. I, uh, I was telling him, you know, about what was going to be going on. I told him, to, you know, come on, subscribe, uh, you know, click notifications, come, come check it out. He's older than me by four and a half years. Um, he swears he forgets. He's forgotten more baseball than I'll ever you know. remember. <laughs> well, he's got an older brother too. 
you know. So it, it's all love, though. Love, love you, bro. Love nah, it's you. all love. Hey, Mike, man. Hey, man. Tune in with us. Subscribe. Let your peoples know what we got going on here. This IOW Sports Movement, man. Appreciate you uh, being here tonight. Um, but look, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's go. Because we talked about it a few times on the show. We talked about it on a late night owl show. We talked it on the day show a few times. And I was waiting for it. What kind of tag or if there was a deal going to be done, what was going to happen with Lamar Jackson? And, and I think I went on Twitter last night. And I think the first thing that I, I said is depending on what tag is dropped on him, they kind of give us an idea for sure of what's really going on. Um, Here's a few things. I think Lamar Jackson made a mistake by playing last year. This past yeah, year. You, you 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 were a big uh, you were big on him not stepping on the field last year. I, I do remember that. Well, because you you well, because here, here's my thing. You don't have the guaranteed money. You don't have the uh, long term money that you that you know Lamar Jackson, in my opinion, deserved. The security blanket. Yeah, he don't have that security oh, blanket. Man. You know, he doesn't. My, my little guy. And uh, I was I was concerned that he didn't obtain it. He didn't get it. And I know he wanted to bet on himself. But you don't do all of this without an agent. And his that's mom, what his mean. mama, you mean? Well, well, I, I know his mom is playing uh, manager, and, and, and that's fine. But... I didn't have an issue with it. I'm just saying, like, as long as she is proficient in doing the job, yeah, and that she yeah. can do it, like, 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 what, what exactly is her background? You know what I mean? Is she just his mother, or does she have any type of uh, background when it comes to this? Yeah, and that, and that, and that thing, I don't know. But for him to trust uh, his financial future and his mother. Uh, obviously, there's something about her and what she knows that we don't know, that Lamar does know. So, hey, by all means, that if that's what you want to do, cool. Um, but I've been looking at some uh, – not only did I, I – I, I was a big advocate of him not playing um, without the money. I'm, I'm, I'm at that point in thinking now that the moment that he got hurt, I think around week 13, he was like – I mean, I mean, yeah, so he missed the last five games, but I was in, in my in my mindset. I'm like, oh, Lamar, he ain't, he ain't gonna be at no rest to get back. No, and sure enough, he missed that playoff game. He, 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 you know, MJ on some real shit. I really think that M, uh, uh, Lamar could have played in that playoff game. And, and what's funny you say that? Um, just this morning on, I think it was first take. Dan Graziano was on an air. It was either today or yesterday, and he he was adamant that there was players, coaches, uh, people in the organization that all thought that he was going to be good to go for that playoff game, and then all of a sudden he wasn't. You know, so take that for what it was. You know, maybe he just he maybe he threw the towel in and said, "Fuck it, I'm not." You know, I'm not going to play for you guys no more this year. Yeah, but he got he got he got. He got financial. He got business smart four months too late. Yeah. <laughs> like, like you already got the injury, um, and I, like I said, I, I really think he could have played. I think he finally got all right. I'm not going to risk my health anymore for these dudes that don't give a damn about me. Because let's be honest, the way that the uh, Baltimore Ravens have been going about this whole contract situation, they should have had Lamar Jackson paid two years ago. Yeah, uh, and so. Uh, the the fact that he hasn't been paid, the fact that he uh, has been uh, pretty much, you know, betting on himself, which I I don't I'm not mad that you bet on yourself. By all means, do that. Yep. But you should have. He should have been more business savvy about the situation before the season even started. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like we 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 can't do that. We we you can't put yourself in a predicament not knowing your long term financial stability, especially playing football, especially especially playing quarterback, and especially playing um, 
you know, the style that he does. Uh, so, you know, I, I don't know. I just wasn't a big fan of that. Uh, Mel says uh, there is no issue uh, with his mom's performance as an agent. They just can't agree on certain details of the contract. Guaranteed money. Hey, it, yeah. hey no. no he, it, he wants yeah. the Sean guarantee. That's yeah. what he's looking for. Which I'm not mad at him. I don't blame him one bit. But uh, earlier they broke it down. They said Jimmy Haslam was basically desperate in Cleveland to go and do that to get Deshaun. He said well, there was no reason for them well, to pay that much money for him see, because a lot of teams will not pay their quarterbacks that type of money. Yeah, and this 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 is what I this is what I hate about kind of the uh, the market that gets set. It's an imaginary market. Let's call it what it mm-hmm. is. It's imaginary as fuck. Um, I don't understand how you know. You want to say, a hey, you know, this is the market value. Like, and I'll kind of transition Daniel Jones in here some way. You know, just because the market says, hey, you know, a quarterback uh, is next up to get a contract extension, he should be around this. My thing is, is like, I need to look at your performance, what you've done for us, what, it, you know, the, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the what test. exactly. Yeah, the eye test. Like, come on, because. And even you, as a Giants fan, you can sit here wholeheartedly say, without a shadow of a doubt, the day that Daniel Jones gets a four-year, $160 million contract, and you still seeing Lamar Jackson without a long-term extension, you're like, come on, what the hell are we doing? Like, what are we doing? Lamar Jackson didn't even come to my mind when I, when, when I got the alert that he got four years and 160. Mm-hmm. I literally pulled my car over. <laughs> And I had to look at the phone again because I think I was on my way to get my son. And I was like, "What's good, what? Double J? How you doing?" Real quick, shout out to Jay Jones, my man over there. G Money, uh, the uh, Man Cave Sports Show. So yeah, shout out to Jay Jones. What up, Double J? Double J in the building. Yeah, but I, I literally pulled the car over. And I was like, "You, you got to be fucking kidding me!" Yeah. You know, and I looked at the phone. I was, wow, wow. 40 million a year. I mean, he's the first two years is is 41 and 41, and then yeah. it drops down to like 39, 39. Uh, it's 82 guaranteed over four years. Oh, I mean, the only good thing is he, he's only 19 million against the cap this year. Yeah, which, this year, which, which yeah. does help. Yeah, you know, and and with them tagging uh, Saquon, Saquon gives them Saquon. gives them time. Gives him time to uh, maybe work out a deal with him, so his cap number won't be at you know at ten. Yeah, Thomas Scott, I like that comment, my bro. He says they don't want to pay a player without an agent because they don't want NFL players to start not having agents that work with the NFL. And I think you got a good point right here. Uh, not only do you make a good point right there, Thomas Scott, take it a step further. Um, these NFL owners, obviously, they don't want these NFL players not having the agents and being part of the NFL process of, of free agency and getting signed and all that. Um, they feel like they're part of, of the process and they want them there. Um, but they also don't want players getting fully guaranteed contracts. They're hundred percent pissed about that Deshaun Washington contract. You know how I know because they made sure that he got suspended for a lengthy amount of time because they weren't able to uh, criminally charge him. They were only able to get money out of his pocket civilly. And so, therefore, there wasn't really a true consequence in their owner's eyes. So the only way to really get back at him once he got the money and say, oh, that son of a bitch got to sit for a long time. Hmm. Which, is now, why now, which is why he was only a base million uh a million dollar base salary this year. Oh, and, Cle- and Cle- Cleveland played this smart. They knew Cleveland they were played this smart. You can't be mad at them, but let's be honest about the situation. NFL doesn't want new trends happening with players. The first, first of all, the first trend, and and here's my thing. I don't, I don't like the fact that people are blaming it on Deshaun Watson. Blame it on Kirk Cousins. He's he's gotten two contracts for the Minnesota Vikings, three years apiece, all fully. Uh, guaranteed. A lot of people forget that, MJ. 
The first the first one was three and ninety. Yeah, a lot of people forget that. Fully guaranteed. And Fully guaranteed. Three years. And so. And let, let me just put in real quick. Yeah, go I ahead. Be, I, let me let me be Mel. Fuck her cousins. <laughs> Let me just get out the way. <laughs> Fuck old Kirk Cousins. <laughs> but, but I mean, if we're really going to talk about being mad at players getting guaranteed money, let's, let's take it back to Kirk Cousins, who's been, who's really, if you go back to when uh, he got franchised twice by the, by the, or uh, then the Redskins, and got uh, pretty much, what, what was it, 50 mil in two years? Because I think it was like 25 mil each year or something like that around there. And then he goes to Minnesota and get the three year fully guaranteed, like $90 million contract. So yeah, I think it was 25, 27, and then three for 90. Yeah. So, so I mean, literally over five years, uh, uh, Kirk Cousins has made almost $200 million. Five years. Now, let's really look, let's really break this down. So, Kirk Cousins has had two franchise tags and a three year contract fully guaranteed, has literally made almost $200 million over five years. So that's five years. That's pretty much a five year, two hundred million dollar deal. If you really retrospect, look at it. Now look at Deshaun Watson. Was it a uh, uh, four or five years, two hundred thirty one million? I think so it's, it's it's not that four, far off. I think it's four two thirty one. Yeah, so it's not that far off. So my thing is, is the precedent has already been been set with Kirk Cousins, and so they don't want that as a trend. They don't want it. They don't want the players to have the power. No, they don't. They don't. And 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 here's here's what's uh yeah no I, I I'm with you Jay I do blame uh, Baltimore for not paying Lamar especially after he won the MVP you should have paid him should have paid him there yep should have paid him there uh so uh, I don't I don't. <laughs> I just hate the fact that Lamar is getting punished because you look at you look at Deshaun Watson. You put put Deshaun Watson's resume up to to Lamar. Yeah, Deshaun Watson's uh, passing is going to look a little bit better than Lamar's. That's fine. <coughs> but I'm talking about a guy that's 45 and 16 as a starter, running record as a, as a starter in the NFL as a 45 and 16 record. Mm-hmm. What does that tell you? And you went, and he went, wins. Four, and he went 14 and 2, what, two years ago? Yeah. So 14, that tells me he wins as a starter. Next. All right. And then 64% completion percentage. You know how good that is? Go look at Drew Brees' career completion percentage. Lamar Jackson is right around Drew Brees. Do we not all consider Drew Brees a very accurate quarterback? So and I, believe, and I believe Lamar Jackson's percentage numbers have went up every year that he's been in in the league. For the most part, yeah. And don't don't get me wrong; his production in the last couple of years have gone down. Obviously, he has the injuries. But I, I propose this for those who say and hold he's injury prone. Let me ask you this: What quarterback who's literally carrying the franchise on his back? There's no wide receiving threats that scares nobody on the Ravens roster. Nope. You got other than, other than Mark Andrews, and he's a you know glory. Yeah, he's a tight end. So 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 you agree? There's there's really Mark Andrews and what else on on the offensive side that scares you? They got Lamar Jackson. Who, Lamar who Jackson. And Mark I'm, just saying, I'm trying to tell you who else they, they got. Bateman. Um, Can't say healthy. I mean, I don't know. Gus says words. They got. Uh, can't stay healthy. <laughs> uh, the other running back that can't stay healthy either. Uh, yeah. Dobbins. I mean, Dobbins, Dobbins. Is a hell, he's a hell of a back, too. Hell of a player. Can't stay healthy. So we, we talk about, you know, oh, Lamar's uh, being uh, injury prone. How? The man is literally carrying a franchise with literally nothing around him. And the fact that he's had to do it two years in a row. To me, I think any quarterback would, would start falling, and you know, a, a little bit tired, body not moving as good as it used to week one because they're, they're carrying the load. They are literally carrying the load. And and I always propose this question to everybody who says, oh, don't pay Lamar. Uh, uh, Baltimore is it, it, 
You be it makes more sense to move on. Let me ask you this: What's the alternative? What's the alternative? And every Husband? time I ask that question, I I don't get a legit answer back. What's the alternative without Lamar Jackson on the Baltimore Ravens? Don't tell me it's it's a, a Huntley. Huntley and draft picks. Come on, man. And and, and guess where they're gonna be? They're gonna be <clears> at the bottom of the division. They're gonna be at the bottom of the AFC. Come on, man. Shout out to my man. Shout out to my man, Vinny. Vinny, what's up, bro? That's my man. That's my man from Connecticut. He's a big Brown fan. Big (laughs) Brown fan. See, Deshaun carried that scrub Texans team to the playoffs, though. Now he he had D Hop, and when you had DeAndre Hopkins, that that helps you a lot, bro. (laughs) Let's not act like. uh, But if you're looking uh, at totality of that team, they didn't have too much. Aaron Foster couldn't stay on the field. He was on and off. Outside, right. of Hop- outside of Hopkins, who they have? I, uh, uh, you know, they uh, Will Fuller had a quick flash. Uh, Brandon Cooks was on there for a little minute. Um, well, Brandon Cooks is still there, but you know, I, all I'm saying is, is that you know, is when you look at resumes, Lamar Jackson can put his resume up to Deshaun, Kyler Murray, Russell Wilson. I feel he's better than those guys. I think he's better than Kyler Murray. I think he's better than Deshaun Watson slightly. I think he's better uh, than than uh, Russell Wilson right now. So uh, all those three guys got paid. And so my thing is Baltimore. Again, what's the alternative? I know you got a new uh, offensive coordinator who came from Georgia. Don't tell me you're about to go on the draft and get Stetson Bennett and act like that's about to be the damn fucking uh, uh, savior. Like, come on. Let's not do this. His name alone is going to get him in the league. Stetson. Come on, man. <laughs> is it his name alone going to get him in the league? <laughs> Yo, the old school aftershave? Oh, god yeah, damn. You, know. you fucking old motherfucker, bro. <laughs> wear, wear a little bit of fucking brute. <laughs> Pour that shit on me like that. <laughs> hey, bro. I remember when the goddamn old heads used to wear so much damn brute, damn choke you out, bro. <laughs> my brother be wearing brute. Damn, he Mike, me, you wearing the brute, me, bro? He wants me to shout him out. He he wears brute. <laughs> but no, um, yeah, I'm just fuck with him. You know, I don't. But no, I, look, I I don't know, bro. I don't know how Lamar Jackson is is without a contract. I don't know how Lamar Jackson uh, isn't getting uh, that same type of money that all these big dogs. Look, if he's asking for guaranteed money, okay. But you can still find a way where it's feasible for him that he's satisfied. And at the same time, it's not harming your franchise. I think it's possible. Because let's not sit here that Patrick Mahomes' contract isn't making him pay. And still, you're managing to put a Super Bowl winning team together. So when I see that. Don't 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 hit me with the oh nah we can't give him that kind of money. He's asking for 231 million. Patrick Mahomes has half a billion. And you know how you know how much Patrick Mahomes is making this upcoming season? Yeah. I didn't see this. Yeah, 31. 31. Yeah. 31. Yeah. Because in in all in all uh and another thing a lot of people don't realize is about Patrick Mahomes' contract. He's restructured more than one time to make sure he even made room for people to either get re-signed or sign veterans to help him win a championship. Eli Manning and uh, and Tom Brady used to do the same thing. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Like, like, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go, y'all. We got our first Eli Manning drop. <laughs> But it, it, it was it wasn't a bro, two-time Super Bowl MVP drop. Bro, I, I give you credit. No, no, fuck this. I give you credit, MJ. You waited 34 minutes to drop an Eli Manning dog. <laughs> because it's true, because he always signed like a big contract, and then he restructured to make sure they could sign their linemen and their oh, linebackers yeah. and their you know in the secondary. He made sure there was money to go around, not just in his pocket. Mm-hmm. Now there's other quarterbacks that said, you know, fuck it, give me the money and you know, worry about everybody else at another time. Yeah. No, I, and I'm with you. Uh you, know, you, so, want to, you want to be a team player, you know, you, you gotta make your money, but also think about everybody else around you. Yeah. And and it's funny you said that because the same time that uh 
Mahomes was getting his extension. So was Chris Jones. He looked at Chris Jones and said, I left, I left something on the table for you, bro. Literally said that to him. I left something on the table for you, bro. And he got the deal done. Was able to get Chris Jones signed. So, um, look, there's a couple of things that a lot of people have been talking about with the situation with Lamar Jackson. And it's, it's just been bothering me. I'm like, stop making it seem like he's not worth the money. Let's not stop. Like, come on. Dude, look at the man's resume. And I like what Jay said. What, what if this is Josh Allen asking for this type of money? <coughs> you know what's funny? I, I wonder what Joe Burrow's going to ask for. I wonder what Justin Herbert, who are both eligible to get an extension <coughs> going into this uh, upcoming season. I wonder what they're going to ask for. You know what I'm saying? Let, I want to see I want to see what they're going to get. Burrow's going to top out. Oh, he's going to reset the whole fucking market, bro. As he should. Number one overall pick. Um, you know, top three quarterback in the league, without a doubt. Oh, yeah. He'll reset the market. But still has some one. Okay, he made it what? there. He made it there once, but. And guess what? His resume still ain't, ain't like Lamar's, which is crazy. No. no. There's not many <laughs> people that are like Lamar's. I, bro, thank His resume you. speaks for itself. Thank you. Like like MJ, this this is why this is why you're gonna be part of the show now. Cause because there's one thing that I tell people that I've been arguing this shit on Facebook all day. Give me the number of quarterbacks whose resume can compete with Lamar's. I tell you, the list is real small. Right now, active quarterbacks in the NFL whose resume can compete with Lamar's. His name is Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers. End of list. End of list. Come on now. Stop, stop. I need people to stop with the bullshit acting like Lamar doesn't deserve the money and he ain't earned it. There's only two people that get, that literally got the resume that can compete with Lamar Jackson. And they know him as Patrick Mahomes and Aaron fucking Rodgers. End of list. So let's not let's just stop the bullshit, man. Anyway, you know what? For the next five minutes, this is going to be the MJ time. Because my, my man MJ, you got something to talk about, bro, because you happen to be a Giants fan, and your, and your quarterback got paid, bro. First of all, tell me how you feel about the, the, the contract. Quarterback, quarterback got paid. You know I have not been a Daniel Jones fan from day one. Oh, I never noticed. <laughs> You know, uh, even even after this season, okay, you made the playoffs. You know, great turnaround. Um, you had a winning record. Bravo. You threw 15 touchdown passes. Bravo again. You know, this is, oh, motherfucker. I'm trying to think what his what his record is. He's got a losing record, and you go and pay this man 160 mil, 82 guaranteed. Mm. I, I, I mean, unless, well, Brian, me... unless Brian Dayball and then everybody else really see something in this kid, I mean, mm. I, I don't see him reaching that Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Burrow. I don't see him reaching that level. I don't think his ceiling is that high, but somebody in the Giants organization does. Well, <coughs> I'm that's, say, a, that's a lot of money to give to a guy that's had a mediocre career, I mediocre agree. at best. And 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 yeah, look, I, I can agree with you, MJ. He's had a mediocre career, and for the most part, I I, I put a lot of blame on Daniel Jones. You know, like, bro, you're a turnover machine. You, you're missing games here because of injury. And, okay, uh, you get around good coaching. Brian Dabo comes in, and and you you actually look like you could do something. Um, it, and, and, look, I, I thought Daniel Jones had a, had a far better season than his first three seasons. You know what I'm saying? His first three seasons were absolutely garbage. So I give him his props. He had a, a, a nice fourth season. But here's my deal. You only done it one time. 
and you did it on the time when it was time for, for a contract. He said he got that Matt Flair money. <laughs> so uh, that's, that's a good call right there. <laughs> so so here, here's my deal. Fleeced them. <laughs> are, are, are you going to be able to recreate this 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 season you just had, Daniel Jones, and actually improve on the numbers? Because you can't you you not you not going to win shit with 15 touchdowns. No, you're not. You know you you not. And so, I, like I said, I give Daniel Jones his credit when he finally gets around good credit, uh, good coaching, and, and Saquon's actually be able to stay healthy. He had a good season. It wasn't spectacular. It was good. He had a great season. It wasn't don't don't shit on Saquon. He had a great season. You know that. No, not Saquon. I'm talking about we talk about strictly Daniel Jones though. Oh, I thought you talking about Saquon had a had a, a, a good season, but Daniel Jones. Yeah, he um, – how they could pay him – pay him $40 million. I mean, look look at Derek Carr. Mm-hmm. Derek Carr just signed with the Saints for less money. You're going to tell me that Daniel Jones is a better quarterback or worth more than Derek Carr? Absolutely not. You're going to tell me that Daniel Jones is a better quarterback or worth more than Derek Carr? It's a fucking joke. <laughs> Like I said the only the only good thing is, like I said, first year nineteen million cap hit. That's the only good thing. So they, you know, they can go out there. They, they said they're going to cut Galladay. Um, <coughs> you should have never signed him. <laughs> really, no, 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 Let's move on. This is a Kenny Galladay free podcast. Let's yeah, move on. <laughs> yeah. All I'll say is about that. At least they swung. I mean, they missed, but at least they swung. They tried to get him, get him something, and didn't work. Um, that's so, so. So let me ask you this, big dog. If you tag Saquon, are you saying that you need one more year to prove that he can stay healthy? I think so. Unless they're you know, they, this does buy them time to, to negotiate a deal with him. Oh yeah, you know, um, I I I I believe they do want to keep him. They they put the non-exclusive on him. Ain't nobody gonna give the Giants two first round picks for him. Mm. So he'll so he'll be back in you know back in Big Blue making like ten point uh, like ten point one four or something like that. Yeah, give or yeah, take, we'll, I might be yeah, We'll call it ten mil. Yeah, ten mil and. uh yeah, I think they're if they can't work out a long term contract with him, this gonna be his last year. Mm. Cause Saquon is what twenty six now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he, he'll he'll probably get a one more contract, and then that'll be it for uh, Saquon. Um, Cause you know once you get to thirty, uh, that's pretty closer. You get to thirty in, in, in NFL, especially your running back position. They definitely are ready to uh, find an exit plan for you. So. Uh, He'll probably get maybe a four-year deal, and that'll probably be his last big contract. So if I'm Saquon on this next contract that I negotiate, only thing I'm looking at is guaranteed dollars. How much is guaranteed? Otherwise, what the fuck are we talking about? Ain't nothing to talk about. See, now I would offer him – we discussed this the other day. I would offer him three years, 42, 28 guarantee. No, no. G- g- just give me the uh, give me the estimated uh, like yearly value. What would you give him? 14, 15, 16 million a year. Four, four, 14. 14? Okay. You, That'll definitely put him, him towards the top. Him, you give him three years, forty-two. That's fourteen a year. Twenty-eight guaranteed. So you're guaranteeing him two years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> My man said, I didn't know 15 touchdowns was worth over 100 million. Damn, all them bum QB stand up. <laughs> hey, 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 Thomas, let me let me let me rebut that. 15 touchdowns might turn into 195 million. Mm. Cause he's got he signed for 160. Yeah, he got crazy incentives it, in this shit, bro. An extra 35 could bring it up to 195. He got crazy incentives in that joint, bro. <laughs> he got crazy incentives in that joint. That is sickening. 
So, so honestly, I think that's what hurts you more is is the is the potential of what the contract could fully be if he hits a lot of these incentives, which uh, I'm I'm assuming uh, once the more of the wording comes out, and I'm pretty sure it's more performance based, um, you know, uh, workout bonuses, uh, roster bonuses, and shit like that. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I'm curious to see what the um, what his bonus money could be, like yeah, performance wise. Yeah. Um, and uh, as Mike throws in, he do uh, he ran for seven TDs. Yeah, can't, can't knock it. So uh, you know, uh, you give him his credit. Twenty three total touchdowns. Hey, he he, he cut the turnovers down uh, this year than what he's normally been. So I, I give him that credit. But if if you're talking about the whole landscape of the quarterback, and he and here's here's one thing that I want to. I want to talk about and with this connection between that's why we talked about Lamar first and Daniel Jones second, because it's this stigma of the running mobile quarterback, right? They're injury prone. They're, 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 they're this, they're that they're opening themselves up for, for injury. Let's be honest. It's football. Uh, even if you're a pocket passer, you always, anytime you step on the field, you could possibly be injured. In that game, injure that practice anytime, anytime, anytime. 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 And so it could be, I hate non, when people, it could be non-contact. Yeah, non-contact. So I hate when people want to use the excuse, "Oh, well, he could he uh, because he's a mobile quarterback, he he's going to be uh, uh, highly possible to get injured more." Well, anytime you step on the field, whether it's practice, uh, whether it's in in uh, preseason, uh, as Trick Green, Trick Green was a was a uh, pocket passer. He, he he loses a season, and then next year, you know, Kurt Warner comes up with the Disney movie of all time. <laughs> Come on, that, that let's not act like just because you you know you you get you get hit, you can get hurt. But here here's my correlation, and and let me know if I'm reaching MJ. It's this stigma of saying running quarterbacks, running quarterbacks shouldn't shouldn't invest in them, shouldn't do it. But you look at Daniel Jones. Who really runs a real read option RPO offense, just like Lamar? And it's kind of if you look at their situations, are pretty similar. Not a lot of great weapons on the Giants' offense, but you do what you do. Not a, not a lot of great weapons besides Mark Andrews on the Ravens' offense, but you do what you do. You do it in the air. You do it with your feet. They both did it. Yeah, they, do it with your legs. They both ran the same game. So let's not so let's not sit here. Oh, sorry, Jay. I forgot you a Titans fan. I shouldn't mention uh, Kurt Warner. Around you. My bad, dog. <laughs> <laughs> so breaking not, his heart. Yeah, breaking his heart. So let's not sit here and, and and act like that we can't pay Lamar when Daniel Jones can get paid. They're pretty much running the same pro offense, uh, read offense, RPO. Both. <laughs> MJ, has it, has it Daniel Jones missed some games because of injuries? Yep. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> what am I missing again, here? Again, Eli Manning started <coughs> what was it, close to close to 200 straight games, 210, whatever it was, mm -hmm. because he knew not to take a hit. Yeah. Even, even when he had a bad offensive line, he knew just to go down, duck, because he wasn't going to get his bell rung. Don't Somebody get hit clean. Is, what's that? Don't get hit clean. Yeah. And 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 he knew that. He knew how to get down. You know, people could say what they want about him, but the man never missed a game. Yeah. Never missed a game. You bring Daniel Jones in, and in his first year, he, he misses a game. That's more than Eli did his whole career. Yeah. I mean, they, look at I'm not making this shit up, guys. Go, go. All this information is available for all of us. Daniel Jones ain't played every game. Daniel Jones, uh, you know, this year, this past season, was able to play all 17 games. I give him that. Had a good season. But let's not act like, come on now. I I, I hate when, 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 when labels get put on certain quarterbacks. When, and we've had this discussion on ILW. It's more now the style of quarterbacking in the NFL is you have to have mobility. It ain't about it, some, it's not about the race anymore. You, you gotta have some type of mobility. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 literally can you get out the way of 
all these uh, pass rushers. Yo, we just saw at the draft uh, 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 a lineman running uh, 4 4. A defensive lineman running. Uh, uh, what's his name from Georgia? Um, linebacker. Had linebacker. Crazy, had, crazy, had crazy combine numbers this past weekend. Was running like a 4 4 40. I can't it, remember his name. Bro, if, if you can't get out the way, you are dead meat. Yep. Yeah, so Nolan Smith. Guys, thank you, Jay. Thank you, WJ. Nolan Smith. Thomas, thank you. Yep. They're getting bigger, stronger, getting bigger faster. And faster. And if you got no mobility, you are dead to rights. That's one of the reasons why uh, uh, Tom Brady finally got smart again and said, no, nah, I'm done. For real. He, this does, time. he, he, he done done. For real, I'm done this time. He got smart because he can't get out the way. Did y'all see what he looked like when he doesn't have a a legit offensive line? When he got injuries and and all your all your uh, uh, pro bowler centers and guards and tackles aren't there, you saw what happened. That 46 year old sack of shit went straight to the ground at any sight of pressure. Went straight to the ground. Dude, he he started the season looking 36. <laughs> and he was looking season. 98 <laughs> by the time he got to week 18. <laughs> he was done. He wasn't even doing his hair no more. His face is all <laughs> fucked up and wrinkled. He showed up to the press conference. He's like, you know. Yeah, man. So so let's not so let's not act like like come on, bro. You gotta have mobility as a quarterback. So at this point, it's it's not even about the race part at quarterback anymore. You just gotta be you gotta be mobile. And so, yeah, the trend has started with black quarterbacks, but you know, it's 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 about mobility. Uh, Justin Herbert, Daniel Jones, Josh Allen, uh, even Joe Burrow has a little bit of mobility. Joe Burrow can get um, in his own way. Yeah, uh, Trevor Lawrence mobility, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, uh, uh, Deshaun Watson, go Justin down the line. Field. Jalen Hurts. You just had two two guys that had mobility played in the Super Bowl but a month ago, y'all. So let's not act like this, this. That ain't the trend. That's the trend. That's the way it's going. And that's why, in my opinion, I'm looking at Baltimore and like, you got one of the premier quarterbacks as part of this new trend. And you bullshit? <laughs> so, but no. Uh, you got to be at least to get out of your own way. You got to be at least to do that. Yeah, man. I don't know. Um. So a couple of people that got the tag, uh, Payne and uh, uh, Washington got it, the D-tackle. Um, Evan Ingram, the tight end, and Jacksonville got it. Um, obviously, Saquon gets it. Obviously, we already discussed about the tag that Lamar Jackson has gotten. Um, I'm looking at the tag of Tony Pollard, and this is why I'm looking at this, because Tony Pollard just suffered a very severe injury in the divisional game about a month and a half ago, y'all. You, you I tackled. believe it was Achilles. I believe. Don't check me on that, MJ. Uh, on the injury, um, but you tag him for ten million. And last time I saw Zeke will still be on the books for another fourteen million. So Dallas Cowboys, you are sitting here with twenty four million at one position, and it's. And, and let's be honest about the running back position. It's not the premier position like it once used to be. Nope. Now it's very interchangeable. It's very uh, replaceable. And I don't understand why you got that much money sitting there at that position. Now, Double J, I agree with you. But here's my only pushback about saying Zeke gone because he, here's my thing. I believe what's the Zeke cap. What's the cap? Hit? What's the cap hit on that? Yeah, if, if, yeah. If they drop them. How, how much dead money? Matter of fact, I'm gonna look that up. Okay, how much dead money's on that? But um, here, here's my thing. You don't, you don't want to rush to get rid of Zeke because, like I said, Tony Pollard just had a very severe injury a month and a half ago, and you don't know how much time he's really going to miss, and you really do also have to calculate the time or how much it's going to take for him to get back to Tony Pollard type of football that he's used to playing, that burst of speed, breakaway speed, uh, running through the tackles, and next year you know this guy is going for a touchdown. Like Tony yeah, Pollard, I, 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 don't, I don't see him ready by uh, by uh, 
you know, opening Sorry. day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Even, so even, even training kid, you can even say training. I don't think he'll be ready for week one. Yeah, because what was it, a uh, Achilles or, or ankle or something like that? I know it was a lower extremity um, because you're trying to outlaw that I, tackle. I believe he blew his Achilles out. Yeah. Um, and so, <clears throat> and the only reason why I'm saying Double J, that's why you, you don't rush to let him go is because Zeke obviously is familiar with the uh, team. Um, you know, Jerry Jones is probably one of the owners that really loves having, uh, you know, names related to his franchise. Emmitt Smith, Michael Irvin, uh, Troy Aikman, uh, Jason Tony Witten, Romo. Jay Novacek. Yep, with Novacek, uh, Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott's going to be a cowboy for life. Um, because his name... And, that, that and, that, and that's, a, that's a great thing, because they ain't never going to win. <laughs> Cheers to that. Fuck him. But 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 it, it's literally um it's literally uh, uh just you got that much at that position. Now I do believe that the Cowboys go out and draft a running back because go ahead and get you a cheap running back in the third or fourth, maybe fifth round, give him some PT because you can't rely on Zeke for 17 games or for a lengthy time until Tony Pollard gets back off this injury. You don't know when he's going to be back. And 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 he's no longer a three-down back. No, he's far from a three-down back. Look, look, me personally, if Jerry Jones was smart about his business, which I, I wish he would be smart about it, he needs to go and ask Zeke for restructure because this shit's ridiculous, bro. He, he, he is shot. Like, Zeke is not that same dude no more. He's not. Um, but, but, you know, loyalty and, and, and love is crazy. Um, obviously y'all, uh, tagging Saquon, that makes sense. You know, you should. And, Ooh, and, Thomas. Ooh, <laughs> now you talking, dog. Ooh, you talking to me, Thomas, tonight. That's what I'm talking about right there. Don't be surprised if that happens. Mm. Derrick Henry with a star on his helmet. Hmm. You talking, bro? Question is, what would Tennessee be asking? <sighs> what is Derrick Henry's worth right now? You think? At minimum, at minimum, a one and a two. You would still give him a one, Derrick mm. Henry? Absolutely. Well, I wouldn't give him a one. I would all. I would. See if I can get away with like a two and a three, and maybe another two the following year, maybe, or a third the following year. So okay, I would go two and a three, and a three next year. My because my only drawback is is when you get um, when you get Derrick Henry who just came off the foot injury last year, and I think he kind of rushed back to playing that that uh, that uh, Cincinnati playoff game because he wasn't himself. Um, and when you start seeing foot injuries like that, he's getting closer. <laughs> now I ain't trying to be disrespectful. I'm, I'm breaking down why I wouldn't give him a one to Derrick Henry because he's getting closer to 30. So I think he'd be what 28, 29 soon. And so he ain't, he ain't, you know, 22, 23 Derrick Henry, you know, stiff arming the shit out of Josh Norman five feet towards the uh, sideline. That ain't him no more. Dude, Not saying he can't do it no more. He, it's just that he had, him, he had him over five feet in the air and tossed that motherfucker like a good eight, nine feet. <laughs> he said, fuck out of here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and, 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 and did it all, all within rhythm. <laughs> like, I don't know, uh, man. Uh. Oh, Jay saying he's worth two first, man. He's saying two first, man. Oh, we're two first. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know about that, Jay. I don't, I don't know. know, man. Oh, yeah, he did almost draft Manziel. <laughs> he did I, I, almost I, draft Manziel. I'll tell you what. If I was Buffalo, I would, yeah. give, ten, I would give Tennessee two first rounds for him. Yeah, I, I said that on the show the other day because, I honest, honestly, just think about the um, – the different defensive game plan is you got to have to beat a Josh Allen, Derrick Henry type of uh, duo. 
I, I mean, you 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 got to be one badass defensive coordinator to beat that. Um, and then let, let's be honest. I, you know, I know Derrick Henry is, is the tank that he is, but eventually all those carries that he had and you taking uh, repetitive uh, hits and, and abuse, I, you know, and once a foot injury happened, I'm like, ooh, that's a, that's a major injury. That took him out for a long time. That that's to me that's scary because I'm at this point I'm thinking like at any point in time he's gonna um, he's gonna break that foot again because he's such a big dude like that's a lot of force coming down on that foot that's already been broken once and it's probably bound to, to break again. I would just hate to have this man on a, a whole bunch of guaranteed money and he's just a uh, you know a flat tire away from blowing out. That's all I'm saying. That's why you trade him to. That's why if I was Buffalo, I would go all in because now you're putting Josh Allen and Derrick Henry back there. Who yeah. who are you going to tackle? Yeah. Um, go ahead and get the, uh, uh, you know, last maybe two, three, for real solid good years of Derrick Henry left in those tires before, it, before it, you can start seeing the decline. I, I don't know. Who knows? He might be a freak of nature. He might might absolutely uh, make me look stupid as I say this shit. So who knows? Um, I, but I don't know. Because at the end of the day, it's the running back position. I don't care. I mean, we saw the decline as Zeke went down fast, quick, fast, quick. and hurt. So Really quick. Um, <laughs> and that's after he got paid, too. So let's be – so, you know, look, I'm not big on paying running backs. That's why when I'm seeing that franchise tag on Tony Pollard, I'm like, uh, I understand you want to keep him, but damn it, man, you better find a way to recoup some of that money from Zeke, bro, because that dude look cooked. He was he, he looked washed for real. Anyway, hey man, great, great show, show. yeah, great man, show. great show, man. Shout out to everybody that tuned in, chopped it up with us. Y'all see all the uh, social media addresses for uh, IOW Sports platform again. Reach us at Facebook. Join the Facebook page, uh, Instagram, follow the Instagram page. And of course, hit the like, share, subscribe button on the YouTube channel. Spread the word what we got going on. All of those platforms, IOW Sports Network is the address. IOW Sports 1 on Twitter. And of course, you can follow me, Casey Wildcard Mar, on Twitter, Wildcard Mar on Facebook and Instagram. And if you want to follow MJ, where they can find you at MGZ? <laughs> He ain't finding me. He ain't finding me. Hey, I'm real, I'm up, hey, I'm real up, G's up. moving silence like lasagna. Lasagna. Like lasagna. I, 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 I just, I'll be on Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. And uh, that's it. I don't, I don't, I don't do no Twittering. Um, Mike, I know who sweetness is. Sweetness don't exist no more. That, those days of, of, of running backs like sweetness are gone. Yep. They're gone. Sweetness was a beast, man. R.P. Walt. And you can, <laughs> he, he, he talking like he's so much older than me. <laughs> you, know, you know how old he is. You like, yeah. Yeah, young bloods don't know shit. Motherfucker, do I know who Walter Payton is? <laughs> anyway, y'all, hey, peace and love. Y'all come back tomorrow. Uh, great debut by the homie uh, MGZ. Hey, I'm going to convince him to bring his ass back tomorrow and Thursday for sure. Hey, I'll be uh, here. I'll be here. Uh, no doubt, no doubt. We hey, good. We good. <laughs> it's been real. MG, MGZ, I'll holler at you, baby boy. Hey, peace and love, everybody. We catch y'all tomorrow. Yeah, smoking someone's dope, I'm seeing traces, visual lasers, load across the scene, is dangerous, aggressive like behavior, couple monsters from my neighbors, resisting human nature, persistently getting greater, blood change led the terminator, fire up the green, I need it, increase the dopamine, feel better so I kill better, dope up for cocaine. 
woman like I never had a home, so I'm all alone. Smoking bones down the chromosome, so the filter's gone. Suffocating under heavy pressure, the 